Oxford United Football Club is in serious financial trouble tonight after Robert Maxwell's family called in a £2 million debt. Four directors of the club, including Maxwell's daughter Gislaine, resigned today after the entire squad has been put up for sale. Chris Bishop reports. There was a subdued atmosphere at the Manor Ground today. Oxford United, a bottom of Division 2, £3 million in debt and losing thousands of pounds a week. Today, the troubled Maxwell family, which owns 90% of the club, withdrew its financial support. Kevin Maxwell stays as chairman, but the money that saw Oxford into the first division in the mid-1980s has gone. The loss of the Maxwell financial support is a blow to the club. The Maxwells were the unofficial underwriters of the club's debts. But today, Oxford United said the banks were keeping faith. Now it's up to the club to prove it can pay back its debts and maintain the bank's support. To survive, the club has to sell some of its 28 professional players. Oxford says it has several worth a million pounds. Top of the list are midfielder Paul Simpson and Wales international Andy Melville. But with other clubs aware of Oxford's financial problems, the offers are likely to be low, but still acceptable to the struggling club. We've got to cut our cloth to suit our pocket, and that's what we will be doing. Um, obviously, by uh, uh, selling players, we will reduce our costs, and we will look to generating as much money as we do now. And hopefully, what will happen is that our supporters will rally behind us. Four directors, including Robert Maxwell's daughter, Ghislaine, have resigned from the board. Jim Hunt was one of them, and he said it broke his heart. I've taken this with great reluctance, uh, but as I say, I've got to think of my own family, and at my age, which is now nearly 68, I'm afraid uh, I can't risk what little bit of money my wife and I have saved during our lifetime. Oxford United supporters, led by Ed Horton, say they've been warning of the club's financial state since last year. They're still my team, but the people who run the club have run it in the most appalling fashion possible. What do you think should happen to them? I think financially they should shell out. I think they should pay for the debts. I think they should bail the club out. Tomorrow, supporters meet in Oxford to decide on a plan of action. Meanwhile, management are trying to find a buyer for the club, a move that could save Oxford United from selling its best players.